Well, in short, I'm here. All of my dreams and aspirations are here. And the only thing in between these two is a bunch of work. So tackling that work is a way of moving this needle. Hey, what's up, guys? I want to thank you for clicking on this video. My name is Brendan St. Brown, and this is Happiness X. My purpose on this earth is to educate, entertain, and inspire by spreading hope, hustle, and health. The reason why you should subscribe to this channel is because I give away happiness hacks for people who are in the process of growing. So scroll down to the bottom of the page, hit that subscribe button because your future self will thank you that you learn these hacks now. In today's video, we are going to study one of the greats of YouTube. We are going to study the man who pretty much created what vlogging is today and pioneered the vlog. And that is Casey Neistat. In today's video, I will share with you guys Casey Neistat's five hacks to success and happiness. So stick around to the end of the video so you can learn all five of his hacks. But I want you to imagine. Imagine how implementing his hacks can help you change your life. But better yet, imagine how implementing his hacks can help you change the world. Casey Neistat's first hack to success and happiness is, it's about the journey. Casey says success to him is the process. The process is the reward. The journey is what he strives for and excites him the most. Whether we realize it or not, we're all trying to get to the top of the mountain. We all know those people who took the helicopter ride to the top of the mountain. It was given to them. Their parents did everything for them. But you don't want that because those people never developed the strength in their hands, arms, and legs that you need to get to the top of the mountain. Those people never developed a mental compass. Those people never developed a survival instinct you need to get through life. Get excited about the journey because there are people you're supposed to meet, friendships that are supposed to be made, and people you are supposed to help. There will be L's on the journey though, but after L comes E-S-S-O-N. There will be people that are gonna try to use you, people who are gonna try to steal from you. There will be times where it looks like you're on a very promising route, but it's a dead end and you have to turn around that will teach you. There will be times of hard work and uphill battle, but then you get to a point with a beautiful view and you get to cherish that moment with the people around you. The journey shapes you into the person you're supposed to be once you reach the finish line. Casey's second hack is patience prepares power. Casey drops very valuable information. He says hard work and patience are the two keys you need for success. You have to be prepared to commit everything if you want to succeed. Step by step, you get ahead, but not necessarily in fast paces. Success is sequential, not simultaneous. In modern society, it has trained us to expect instant gratification. Once we post onto Instagram, we are flooded with likes. We can have food dropped off on our doorstep, not having to leave the couch with Uber Eats. The thing I think we get wrong with patience is we do it once, and we expect it should happen. When you think of patience, I want you to think of consistency. 99% of people give up after one try. Patience is something we all know, but it's hard to sit on your patience. And how to counteract that goes back to Casey's first hack, and that's fall in love with the process. Enjoy the work that you're doing, so when you hit the finish line, everything else is bonus. Casey's third hack is, you can't get big arms if you don't do any push-ups. Casey says action yields success. If painting is what really excites you, pick up a brush. Casey says the act of doing paves the road. Remember this, affirmation without application is self-delusion. This hack is all about taking action. You have to wait your time, but no one gets successful watching from the sideline. It's called the five break rule. We can become paralyzed by seeing the overwhelming amount of work we have in front of us. Figure out a five step plan. Let's say your goal is to make $1 million. That's a big leap from starting off at zero. So first, figure out how you can make $100. Then from there, figure out how you can go from $100 to $1,000. Then $1,000 to $10,000. And then from $10,000 to $100,000 and then $100,000 to $1 million. When it comes to taking action, I want you to remember the Chinese proverb. The thousand mile journey starts with the first step. If you're getting value from this video, be sure to hit that like button. 
Casey's fourth hack is be Google. What does this mean? Casey says in order to be successful, you will need to know many different things that are all over the place. Casey says being a successful YouTuber, it's not all about hitting the record button and hitting the post button. You need to know how to edit. You need to know how to story tell. You need to know the psychology behind disrupting people's attention. You need to know how the YouTube algorithm works. You need to know why people click on a video. You want to be the 20 person team made up of one person. Be resourceful. Understand how many different things work. You want to be a blue belt in these five areas of life. Social life, know how to win friends and influence people. Biology, have a basis on nature, cells, plants, and animals. Nutrition, know what a carb is, know what you're putting into your body and how your body will react to that. Physics, know a little bit about gravity, inertia, engineering, leverage. And finances, know the difference between a stock and a bond, Know a little bit about investing and saving. Be Google so you don't have to rely on anyone else. Casey's fifth hack to success and happiness is see around corners. Casey says in order to be successful, you have to develop a skill of anticipation. See the future even if no one else sees it. Casey shares a story of working for a production company in the early 2000s. Right when YouTube was coming out, Casey said to his boss, we need to start creating content for this new platform. The boss laughed and said, this is a fad and it will not be around. The two had such conflicting beliefs, Casey was ended up being fired. As the story goes on, Casey started producing for YouTube and became one of the world's biggest creators and that production company went out of business. The most successful people are people who hit trends early. Stay up to date with current events and new advances. It will be able to help you lay out a blueprint of the future in your head. Foresee the future, and if anyone says that's not possible, be reminded, they don't see what you see. When you are doing something new, remember this. First, they will ignore you. Then, they will laugh and criticize you. It isn't until last where they admire you and say, I always knew you could do it. If you guys made it through the video, I appreciate you. If you found value in it, don't forget to hit that like button. In the comments down below, comment down Casey to show some love for Casey Neistat. If you like my content and for more happiness hacks, you can subscribe to my channel right here and check out my next video right here. In the meantime, everyone stay great and I'll catch you all on the other side.